Hi, I'm Stephen with AlbertaUrbanGarden.ca. Welcome to my garden. On today's episode, we're going to talk about a common phenomenon that happens in the garden. You take a bite of an apple, a carrot, or anything else from the garden, and the flavor is just so vibrant and wonderful that you even wonder how you're ever going to eat from the grocery store again. Well, on today's episode, we're going to discuss why the produce in your garden tastes better than what you buy from the store. Although there are many crop specific reasons why vegetables from your garden may taste better than the grocery store, we're going to talk about three general principles that may explain it. The University of Texas took a look at the USDA nutrient content of 43 common garden varieties between 1959 and 1999. What these researchers found was there was a notable drop in these common garden crops of the, their nutrient density. The researchers were able to associate this drop in nutrient density with a drop in genetic variability. So what does this mean? It really means that the genetics of the seeds and the crops dictate the nutrient density of those crops. And this is mirrored in this year's home garden field trial results, where we had varying levels of macro and micronutrients within the soil. But really in the pepper tissue, there was no difference in the nutrient density between all three beds. So how does this impact the flavor? Well, if you're like me, I find more and more heirloom varieties are making their way into my garden. It's safe to associate these heirloom varieties, by definition, with the genetic diversity of the crops in the 1950s. Whereas the store-bought varieties are being bred and continually bred for better shipping, faster ripening, and other characteristics that make it better for sale in the grocery store. And these can be associated with the newer varieties because they've continued to be developed. So the researchers at the University of Texas were able to associate the higher nutrient density with more complex molecules like ascorbic acid. So ascorbic acid is in fact one of those molecules that has the ability to say change the pH and the flavor of the produce. So, what we're able to draw from this study is the fact that higher nutrient density has a correlation with the molecules that are associated with ben better flavor. The second reason, and probably the biggest reason, is ripeness. The produce that you buy at the store is picked, it's shipped, it's stored on shelves before you even get to it. So what they have to do in lots of varieties is actually pick it before ripeness in order to ship it and for it to be ripe just as it gets to the grocery store so that it has the longest possible shelf life for you. The University of California Davis conducted a number of studies to test this. What they found is their panelists described produce that was picked and ripened later as less sweet, more sour, and less tomato-like, as opposed to the counterparts that were picked at full ripeness. The early harvest stops the production of flavor-causing compounds such as sugar and azorbic acid. When removed from the plant, these sugars and azorbic acids do not continue to develop. However, the fruit itself will continue to ripen. This can be tested by using a bricks meter. Simply go to the grocery store, pick up a tomato, grab a fully ripe tomato from your garden, and measure the sugar content. What you'll likely find is the tomato grown in your garden has a higher bricks reading, has a higher sugar rating, and that translates roughly to improved flavor. So this results in reduced flavor in crops that are picked early, even if you do it from the same plant. Although I don't have a paper to support the third one, it's a sense of achievement. And I think you'll agree with me. After having spent time caring for, growing, and harvesting in your own garden, there's a sense of achievement that's really hard to describe and understand unless you've done it. And there are plenty of studies out there associating a positive mood with an increase or positive biophysical reactions. Meaning, your better mood means your taste receptors may be just slightly more alive when you're biting into that first tomato of the year. So let's circle back to that original question. Why do garden vegetables and fruits taste better than store-bought? It's likely that sense of achievement enhances the full genetic potential of those heirlooms that are picked at peak ripeness. Thank you very much for spending time with me today. I appreciate it very much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. 